Uh, I had this Nissan Leaf now for one year and uh, a few weeks ago I decided to make a trip to the south part of Sweden, an area called uh, Skåne. Uh, and I drove all the way down to a city called Landskrona, which is quite far. Uh, and on my way to this uh, place I decided also to make a stop in my summer house uh, halfway. Uh, approximately. Uh, and going south in Sweden it's possible now with electric car since uh, uh, in the south part of Sweden where you have a lot of the most people living um, there is a lot of fast chargings in the area. On the way then there is a place called Katrineholm. This is the home of the ETC Solar Park where they have a lot of different kind of solar panels and they are mounted in different positions also different kind of windmills all on display so you can walk around in the park and see the different kinds of ways that you can harvest the energy from the nature During this trip I traveled 1,372 kilometers, consuming 206 kilowatt hours. And that makes an average of 1.5 kilowatt hour per 10 kilometers. I made a total of 12 fast charging stops during the trip. All went well, except for one, where the fast charger was fenced in by some workers at a fast food restaurant. Only with 12 kilometers left of range it became a little bit critical. But luckily we found out that there was another fast charger in the same city only 6 kilometers away where we went after filling up our stomach extending our trip by half an hour. The Nissan Leaf is an extremely comfortable car to drive on a long journey like this. Thanks to the planning you are forced to do and the charging stop that is necessary for the car makes you less stressful during the journey and afterwards you are feeling more relaxed when arriving at your destination comparing to if you drive a fossil fuel car where you can take all the distance in one lake. <laughs> 